When it comes to validating your treatment plan, you know that film is the gold standard because it gives you a more complete picture than electronic arrays. But film may feel hard to work with and time consuming. To calibrate film, many people say you have to expose a lot of pieces, 8, 10, 12 or more. And you have to worry about post-exposure growth and wait overnight to do your scans at a certain time the next day. So film may feel like it's a struggle. But now all that changes. Now Gaff Chromic introduces FilmQA Pro 3.0, software that takes full advantage of what we've built into Gaff Chromic Film. FilmQA Pro 3.0 lets you do the new protocols, one scan calibration and one scan measurement. Let's start one scan calibration by measuring the films. As you know, the center of the scanner is the optimum place for film because it minimizes the lateral placement artifact. And as usual, you choose where to measure by drawing areas of interest in the exposed areas. But here's what's new. You can do one scan calibration with just four pieces of film. And why only four? Well, FilmQA Pro 3.0 uses a special mathematical function. The polynomials usually used to fit calibration data have severe drawbacks and they often oscillate between the data points. And outside the range, they behave very, very differently from film. So to get a smooth fit using polynomials, some people advise 12 or more data points. By contrast, FilmQA Pro 3.0 fits the data with a rational function that behaves just like film. And how's that? Well, film gets darker and darker the more it's exposed. And the transmission asymptotes to almost constant value at high dose. So because the general shape of our rational function is similar to the specific shape of the film's dose response, you need fewer data points to make a match. Actually, as few as three data points are absolutely necessary. But to leave room to spot errors, you can add one. So four data points, hence four pieces of film. So with FilmQA Pro 3.0 and fewer data points, this original calibration takes less material, less of your time, and it's just once for each lot. Now onto one scan measurement, where you combine plan verification with recalibration in a single scan. Starting with the exposure of the application film, as usual, you use the light field to indicate where to mark the film and show the axes of the treatment system. Later, you'll use these fiducials to automatically align the dose map with the treatment plan. Then, after you've exposed the application film, you'll take a reference film and expose it. How much? Well, ideally about the same as the highest dose on the application film. That way, when you scan the application film and the exposed reference film and an unexposed reference film all together, you'll use measurements of the reference film to get the best two-point rescaling of the original calibration function and adapt it for that specific scan. Now, how long do you have to wait before scanning? Well, not 24 hours. If five minutes went by between the exposure of the application and reference films, you'd need to wait only 20 minutes. 20 minutes or any time after that. And if you work faster, say four minutes between exposures, you'd need to wait only 16 minutes. Remember, when you scan the three films together, place them at the center of the scanner to minimize the lateral response artifact. Now, once you have the scan, you'll mark the reference films and enter the doses. When you scan the reference films and application films together, you're rescaling the original calibration, actually recalibrating each time you measure. And because the single scan eliminates inter-scan variability, you reduce error below 1%. Now here's where you select the fiducial marks you placed on the film before exposure. When you start the calculations to recalibrate and compute your dose map, 
it will be ready for automatic alignment with the plan. So here's the dose map and here's the plan. And here's the tool to register them. Now you've got your answer in minutes. No waiting overnight for post exposure changes to diminish. They no longer get between you and your results. And you can do an analysis anytime you want, even at a moment's notice. And you get great results. Instead of 3% tolerance at 3 millimeters, you get gamma passing rates more than 95%, 2% at 2 millimeters. That could be your new performance standard. And only Film QA Pro 3.0 uses triple channel dosimetry to deal with film and scanner artifacts. By looking at the consistency of results in all three color channels, you detect errors at any stage in the process. So Film QA Pro 3.0 ensures the integrity of your measurements. Nothing else gives you that feedback. Fast results, more accurate results, and more reliable results. And by using less film and less of your time, more economic results. No waiting for post-exposure change. No interscan variation, no problems from temperature difference or moisture change, no problem with film and scanner orientation, and one calibration for all photon energies. Thanks to Film QA Pro 3.0, film is no longer a struggle. Now it's a piece of cake. Plus, you get film's inherent advantages because you get millions of measurements compared to only thousands from an array, the resolution is dramatically better and you don't have to worry if anything was missed. You'll get a hundred percent of the picture instead of less than one percent. Hey, here's an example from left field. If you were shooting, say, a chameleon instead of a plan, look what you'd get with an array versus what you'd get with film. And because film's tissue equivalent, with no angular dependence, you can shoot from all angles. An entire plan on one piece of film. So you can validate the plan the same way the patient receives it. And because you can shoot at any angle, emerging technologies like SRS, SBRT, and VMAT are better suited to film. Yes, film is the gold standard. And Gaff Chromic has always made great film. Now EBT2, EBT3, MDV3, or HDV2, plus Film QA Pro 3.0 make a complete system. Try Film QA Pro 3.0 for a month free and see for yourself. With help from Film QA Pro 3.0, the future is film.